Creativity is an addiction. Go ahead and say it. That little monster inside of you is going to go, whoa, you're on to me. Hey, uh, can we work this out? And that's what it's all about. Building a relationship up with that creative monster inside of you so that you can work together in harmony and not be challenged by each other to create silence. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. What kind of a person are you at work? The moment you walk through that front door into that business, what kind of energy are you bringing with you? What is it that people see and or feel because of your body language? You know, this is a serious question, and I don't don't mean to put you on the spot, but it's one of those things where you have to be able to identify, is the actor walking into the studio, or is it the real person, and because the body language is down, then that energy is transferred so easily to a passerby. So I I really want you to answer that question. What kind of a person are you when you walk into your business? I do everything I can to stay away from the front door, especially during the shift changes and things like that, because people do walk in frumpy. And if I'm going at 150 miles per hour already, that's going to slow me down to 22 miles per hour. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to get my ass back in gear. And so I always want to ask people, what are you doing before you come in? And, and the majority of them will say, well, I don't want to be here. Well, you're right. We None of us want to be here, but we are here and we're here to serve people. You may not see the people. I mean, in radio, you, you don't see who it is that you're reaching out to. We just have to have the certainty, the certainty that you are there. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And whoo, that's a big word, certainty. And the reason why it's such a big word is because we're going the opposite direction with that. Because I just want to know how it is that you act and react when other people are moving through your flow. And and to see how you're able to pull yourself to shore and dry off your wings so that you can soar again through that sky. It's one of those feelings. Not uncertainty, but rather unsure. But aren't they one and the same? Dictionary.com showcases separate definitions, linking uncertainty to more danger, and unsure is connected to not being certain. Now, here's the thing. During the COVID-19 lockdown, we were all overflowing with uncertainty. We didn't know of the dangers living outside our door. Since getting COVID, I've been unsure of how the body is going to recover. It's as if my system has been given permission to locate new aches and pains and, oh, by the way, your sinuses are really screwed up. Would it be safe to say that being unsure is a strain of uncertainty, both of which can have a huge impact on your life? Keeping them under control has got to be the issue. The goal is to never hide from uncertainty as well as being unsure. And the reason why is because they have a funny way of getting louder and louder and louder. Getting them under control, calling them out, saying, hey, look, I feel a little unsure today. So that's when you go into a walk, whether it be through the house, whether it be through your business, whether it be driving through the car, and you create your intentions. Okay, I'm feeling unsure in this moment of now, but this is my intention. My intention is to make sure that when I walk through that door, that business, that they don't feel that I'm unsure, that they don't see that there is sadness somewhere in my body and my system is trying to get to it so that I can free myself and I need to soar through the sky, but I don't want them to see that. Therefore, my intention is to make sure I keep my eye on who is going to receive what it is that I'm going to make today. I do a thing called the transition walk every single day. A transition walk is going through this forest. You can walk through your streets. You can walk wherever you want to. But in that transition walk, I'm allowing the universe to move through me. I don't have earbuds in. I'm not sitting there looking at my smartphone. I have nothing but the universe around me because I'm in transition. And I say that as I start my day, as I walk out into that forest, I go, okay, It's time for the transition walk. I convince my mind, body, and soul it's time for the transition walk. Well, wait a second. What's the difference between a transition walk and a walk that involves intentions? A transition walk is saying, look, I know who I've been already today. I know who I need to become. Therefore, I'm going to transition into this other person. 
The intention is the wake up call. It's saying, hey, look, my intention today is to stop feeling unsure. It might be tough, but I'm going to identify what is making me feel unsure And I'm going to do that by making sure that I do have certainty and that this intention is to make sure that others don't feel what I'm carrying with me. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.